Zuby Masters returning to my Let's Play of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Princess Alicia's newly formed Prince 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 Learning of Garland's increased interest in the war, Ike wastes no time ordering his troop further into the heart of Danian. The gears of history, which had come to a halt with the fall of Kamari, slowly creep to life once more. Chapter 19 Entrusted. Nicelia, King Nicelia of Calvus, I will speak with you now. Well, if it isn't General Pertrine, what brings you up these frosty mountain peaks? I have no time for pleasantries. Is it true that Camaria's army breached Tor Garden? Though I am loath to report it, this appears to be the case. Bah! Kaikasa, you worthless dog. Being defeated by that girl's Montre band just proves how useless he was. Surely it's not the general's fault alone. He was told that Chimera's army was weak, and that Tor Garner was impenetrable. And yet he was defeated. I say that someone severely underestimated our enemy, wouldn't you? What was that? Do you dare to insult Dany and Crow? Men have forfeit their lives for less. Insult Dany? Never? Come now, General Patrine, I'm merely stating facts. Regardless of the previous battle outcome, Camaria's uh, army will be stopped here. I would be taking the field myself. <laughs> Sounds like you've set the stage for a grand performance. General Patrine, Kilfest will always stand at Dane's side, as long as we receive our payment, of course. If gold is all it takes, then may our friendship never end. So it is that your performance warrants some consideration. Amasa, come here. Yes. Work with King Kelvis and put a stop to Cremaria's armies. No screw-ups or else. Leave it to me, General. I will not suffer another failure, King Kelvis. You must finish them and do so quickly. I'll be clear. I'm sick to death of being made a fool by that Cremaria and Fluzi and her pathetic band of cell swords. And the remaining portion of my fee? Don't worry. We'll have it ready. He'll get paid when the job is done. As long as we're clear on that point, everything's settled. Well then, I'm off. Dog's breath. Even by half-breed standards, those crows are complete scum. Give that one. Ike, here's... Here's the report of our last battle. No, there were no deaths and no injuries beyond our capability to heal. Everyone performed exceedingly well. That is all. By your leave, I will excuse myself. than our last fight. Yeah, there's a lot. The most troubling thing is that the King Kelvas is with them. Crow King himself? Yep. And compared to the other crows, the king is in a class by himself. Obviously he's no match for our king, but anyway, but you should move carefully. An entire unit under the command of a King Kelvas? I think that body's ill for us. The outcome of this battle hinges on how we deal with the Kelvis soldiers. As fellow bird tribe, what can you tell us about them? 
Please don't lump us together with those carrier birds. We're not patrolled to, patrolled to the close. As you know, we are outmanned by the Damien troop. Is there any way to get the Raven, Ravens to withdraw? That would get a tremendous help. Well, suppose I could go meet with King Keldus if I had to. I don't think that my speaking to him is going to make a difference, though. If you like, we'll try, but don't expect anything to come of it. No matter the circumstances, I will never speak to that crook to a crow. No matter what we decide, sitting here like this is giving me any more time to prepare. You're right, come on, let's get moving. Sir, the Carmerian army has arrived. They are prepared to pass into oblivion, for this will be their final resting place. Carmerian stragglers joined with an army of alone from Begino. I've even heard they had a betrayer in their midst, and yet they are still marching on. What an odd group, for as long as Kilbess stands on the side of Dany, they have no future. I suppose they're just unlucky. It appears the enemy has spotted us. Well, a group this large is hard to miss. How will you proceed? No tricks, nothing fancy. We'll hit them from the fa front fast and hard. I'm sure you're already aware of this, but if you don't do something about kill this, you're at a disadvantage. Yes, I've heard about the raven, but even so, it's not as if we can turn tail and run away. Now that I think on it, King Helvis and Prince Rainer used to be close friends. Did you ask him to speak to the king? He was most epithetic in his views. It seems that Nasia was responsible for Raisin's capture at the hands of Duke Candace. I can't really blame him. And the Hawks? They too are the bird track. Surely some connection could be found there. They weren't very excited about the suggestion. You could command them to do it. There is an antagonism between the tribes that we don't understand. It's rather not force the issue. Trying to concede them into it would be unfair. I would let them do as they please. That is so very likely. However, giving orders that are unpopular is often unnecessary when one is in command then. Maybe so, but I can only do things the best I know how, my own way. Come, it's time to go.
Ah. Got a long Slash two slash level up. Wow.
down he goes. Level up.
what? There we go. King of Crows, do you seriously think to betray your fellow lagoons? Oh please, you hawks are always so excited. You know the true nature of my fellow ravens, so... Uh, I'm been getting... Sorry, but I have to return to Fanny. I don't want to slow anyone down. Okay, the White Prince is under your care. Kelvis, you egg-stealing snake. Oh, one of Highford's flock. Yours is eyes, if I'm not mistaken. It's not enough you sold the White Prince to humans. Now you're fighting against lagoons. You hawks rescued Raisin, didn't you? So everything worked out in the end. What's the problem? I'd like you to repeat those words to the prince's face. Raisin is here? Here? Why? He supports the Chimerian army. The Vekids is leading this army helped him to escape the Serene's forest. Helped him? Are you saying a human came to the aid of Rhaenys, a lagoon? Yes, and he rescued Princess Le Leonette too. Leonette is alive? Don't play the thou. You know the life of the forest has returned. Learned that was their power at work. I see, that's how the forest... Of course. Listen up, Crow. You need to fly over there and touch the prince. If you don't do it, I'm going to know that you really are the enemy and report back to King Tiraban. Think it over. Yes, sir. I didn't do it. Racing. Look at you. You look sharp, kid. Go away. Oh, so you can talk. You. How dare you show your face to me? Well, I have been called brazen before. Some have gone so far as to say shameless. Come on, at least let me give you a reason. Be gone. My ears are closed to you. Racing, we're friends, are we not? Oh, yes, friends. In fact, we're such good friends that you sold me to that foul, bloated man. I didn't really sell you. Besides, I planned on rescuing you right away. You were just impatient and flew away on your own, so... Are you blaming me? 
No, no, well, maybe. I mean, it was I who was in the wrong on all accounts. No one was hurting me, and come on, smooth those ruffled feathers off. Leonay is alive. Yes, Terabin's attendants told me. What? That's wonderful news. When he sees her face, I'm sure King Lorius will begin to feel better at once. Things are really looking up, aren't they, Rain? I suppose that you hadn't deceived me and taken me to the forest. We might not have discovered her, so I will forgive you just this once. Rain, oh, that. With conditions, will you accept them? What are they? Pull your troops from the battle now and never again enter into combat against your fellow Lacunas. Oh, come on, Rain. That's asking that too much. What will you do then? Will you continue to fight the Cremarian army to which I am in service? Very well. You win, Rain. I'll leave and take my soldiers with me. However, I cannot say the future will bring. I have the fa fate of my nation to consider after all. Hmm, very well. So, my friends again? Come on, kill this for... Come to kill this for a visit, will you? Now Luce will be so pleased. I'll do that. When this war is over, me and I will both come. Oh, and as for Tiraban, I'll speak with him. There's no need for you to work. Thank you. Farewell. And watch yourself. This war, you know. Listen to me, Dark Wings. We of Kelvas are leaving. Turn at once and head for home. Kilvest has betrayed us. I think a bandit would be m more accurate, but it's the same thing. Accursed subhumans. We should never have trusted them. There we go.
my sword is lightning. Do you think you can follow its dance? Level up. There we go. Your fighting style is unique. It is rough and awkward, yet terribly strong. Who was your teacher? My father. Really? Then we are the same. My father taught me to wield the sword as well. Neither of us can afford to lose. Level up. Level up.
We won, somehow. It's because you did an excellent job of driving off the raid. Yeah, we had continued to fight them. We would have suffered more casualties than this. I must extend thanks to Raisa. My lord, Ike. I am pleased to see you well. You haven't been injured, have you? Prince Alicia. Fine, one harm. Oh, thank you. That's good. Ike, may I have a word? And if you don't mind, Princess Alicia, would you join us as well? Please join me in that bill. What could it be? Let's go and see. This is... Holy... Incredible, no? It's gold. All of it. Dane must be filthy rich. There's so much. It doesn't seem... It doesn't seem real. What do we do with it? It's the spoils of ore, so naturally it's ours. In that case... I'd like to borrow 50000 Would that be alright? That's a lot of money. What are you planning to do? It's a private matter. I apologize, Commander. You're not a child. There's no reason for me to pry. Hmm? My lord, I... Please use this gold for the mercenary company. Until now, I haven't had the resources to accurately pay them, so please. No, if I... If I may borrow the 50000 that'd be more than... You won't borrow it. You'll accept it, and in good faith. The remainder will give to Soren for a company maintenance. And would that be all right, Princess Alicia? Yes, of course. <laughs> um, General P Petrine, please, General. It's just a messenger. However, I have to tell you. I already heard you, Dunderhead. I hate those filthy crows right from the start. Even so, to be betrayed in such a fashion, someone will pay for this. Oh, well, you certainly have your way with us, didn't you, King Cal? Kill this. Yes, if you want to make an enemy of Damien, then so be it. Once Galatians fallen, we'll turn, turn our attention to your puny nation and wipe it off the face of the world. Why are you still there? Do you find me amusing? Shall I make my lance dance for you? No, ma'am, no, never. Not at all. I beg your pardon. Sorry, I'll be going now. Fox breath. I need something. A brilliant pen. If this continues much longer, the king will have my head. You wanted to see me? You wait a long time. Take this. It's the gold you promised. Finally, scraped it together, huh? I'm gladly accept. Aren't you going to gown it? There's no need. I'll trust you. All right then. I'll take what prom that what you promised. The report you wrote for my father. There isn't one. What? There is no report. Never was. You lied to me. You explained my need to know more about my father. There is something I must tell you. However, it will not be written down. It is too great of a secret for that. Your father told me to wait until I thought you were mature enough to hear it. And then I'll tell you myself. But sure. Then what was the 50,000 gold for? Ah, the gold. Ah, the gold. Ah, the gold. And gold. And gold. And gold. And gold. Get started. I want to hear it all. Get started. Get gets 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 I remained hidden from the sight in case the day ever arrived that I needed to fulfill my contract. All that time for one job. What was it? If Grail were ever to go berserk, I was to stop him. I was to take his life. What? Actually, there was one other thing. If Grail ever were ever slain by his pursuer, I was to watch over his son and tell him Grail's secret in an inappropriate time. That was my draw. Berserk? What are you talking about? Why would you have to kill my father? Because of Laurel's medallion. What medallion? What are you talking about? The medallion your sister carries. Huh? That old bronze thing? I thought it was just a keepsake of my mother's... Are you telling me that it's something more? Grail told me it was an object of great peril, but nothing more. I did some investigating on my own, though. And what I discovered surprised me. Tell me. Leor was one of the Heron clans. 
and an ancestor of Prince Racing, who carried with him a bronze medallion. Long ago, a band of heroes defeated an evil god in prison and buried him. An evil god? Do you think this is funny? Are you joking, aren't you? Unfortunately, I am not. I have no idea how cursed thing came to be in Grail's possession. That being said, I do know that the men who hunted your father were actually seeking the medallion. Why they wanted it and what they planned to do with it, just thinking about it just gives me the chills. I'm finding it all this hard to believe. You said the medallion was an object of great peril, didn't you? Then why would my father allow Miss to carry it around? That doesn't make any sense. Because she can carry it safely. Actually, she's the only one who can. If you want proof, think back. Have you ever once touched it? No, I haven't. A long time ago, I remember reaching out for it while Miss had it in her hand. My father scolded me harshly. After that, I assumed it was my sister's alone. I never reached for it again. Compared to the other people, the balance within your sister is extremely strong. Your mother, Simu, was the same. That's why they could bear it safely. Medallion is like a strong poison. It takes the worst aspect of a person and magnifies it to the thousandfold. Grail touched it. It only went and it drove him to complete madness. So that's what you meant when you said he went berserk. That's right. Beckoning and Lag made up of two forces, balance and chaos. <coughs> there is no difference between us. It is the proportion of balance to chaos that determines how much the medallion affects a person. In that sense, it predicts how much harm the person might do. Your father was one of the pre swordsman of his generation. That day, after he touched the medallion, twenty surgers have come to him. Twenty high-trained killers. Your father barely broke a sweat cutting them down. Then he began attacking his neighbors. Those who had taken him in concealed his identity and called him friend. He sued them one by one until your mother rushed in, thinking only to save her husband from himself. was over in an instant. Your mother grabbed the medallion from his hand and stepped away from him. They said she smiled as she, he pulled his sword from her breast and forgave him as her life spi blood spilled in the streets. My father killed my mother? No, that can't be! It was the medallion. It's the power too great for any man, even one of your father's caliber. Me. You. If either of us touch it, I'm certain that we both would have been consumed by madness. When your father regained his sense, he tracked me down. It seemed that he heard rumors of me some time before. He said he had need of someone like me, closed mouth, skilled, and most importantly, willing to do any sort of work. Of course, after hearing what he wanted me to do, I turned him down. Grail was once a famed general. He was Sir Gawain, one of Damien's four riders, and I recognized him at once. There was no chance someone like me would e ever be able to stop him. But you took the job anyway. Why'd you change your mind? Grail had lost his wife, and his grief was overpowering. To keep anything like that from happening again, he crippled himself. He slashed the, of the, the sword, and so he could not wield a sword again. I took the job only because he had become someone my skill could handle, and even then he was still far stronger than most of men. I don't know what to say. That is Grail's secret as I know it. I now entrust you with the responsibility of seeing that the medallion does not fall into the wrong hands. Your sister must keep it. As my father lay dying, he told me to forget everything and live in peace. What this did he mean? He didn't want you to lose yourself and go hunting for revenge, I suppose. He was killed much, much sooner than he ever expected to be. So my father's dying wish for me to 
protect the medallion. If I could do that, everything will be all right. I believe so. At the very least, that must take persistence over everything else. I understand. Oh, one last thing. What is it? Do you want to hire me in the event that you go berserk someday? If we make a deal now, you won't have to worry about it anymore. As for payment, I'll take it out of the 50000 you gave me. What do you say? Sure. Please. That's a wise decision. In any case, I no longer need to conceal my true identity. not really a thief. I'm an assassin. From now on, I'll take any job you got, no matter how dirty. Father, mother, oh, why? Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it, and stay tuned.